In today's episode, I'm talking about what we need to be aware of post change, how our bodies react, how our minds react, and what we can do about it as we go through our journey. This is how legends are made. Hi there, and thanks again for joining me on today's episode. I wanted to talk about change, but in particular, the results of what happens after change. And this can be on any situation you're facing. And in particular, the challenge post change. It's this little kind of parenthesis, and little add on to make you aware of. So this is not real advice or techniques that, or tips. This is more yeah, an awareness that it'd be useful to know when you are going through change. And the point is this, is that after change starts, we can feel quite uncomfortable. Things can actually for a little bit seem worse. Now, I liken this to um, when we are feeling stressed and tense over something, our whole body's kind of like tense up and we're kind of, our breathing changes and our muscles and our whole neck comes together and you've already experienced some of that. And if we hang on to that for long enough, it's gonna really feel kind of like a normal state to feel tense. Then when whatever has to happen happens and that tension is released or whatever hanging on to has gone, there can be discomfort, if not pain, in our body dropping that stress. I hope that makes sense. Is that as our body kind of goes back to a more normal or standard kind of, you know, less tense posture, there can be pain in that change. Once you release a stress or anxiety or a feeling we're hanging on to and it's gone, the absence can create some discomfort for a period of time after. And it's some, uh, it's kind of in the realm of resistance to change and how our old parts when I've come back and have a voice. But this is more to do with that process of making the change, noticing it, and how we're then beginning to transform away from that person we were before. And I think stress is a great and simple example that when we are tense like this, once it's released, our body takes time to adjust. And in that adjustment, can be discomfort. It can be that we are actually potentially getting not more stressed, but our bodies can react in a way that we're getting ill for a while. It's amazing how we respond to change and how our bodies react to it as well. So I really wanted to bring to your attention that, that as we're going through this process, once we've made a decision and we're starting that change, the readaptation, that transformation that we have to go on can include a degree of discomfort in those first stages as we kind of acclimatize to the new environment. The one that we wanted, the one that actually has no stress in it or we're happier, whatever it may be, that little bit of the journey post change can bring some discomfort. And so I'm urging you as you're going through that process to carry on going, to recognize that's what your body is doing or that's how your mind is feeling. That it's still having those kind of old feelings just slowly wash away. And in that, I hope you can take some ideas of how to be patient with this part of the change. Many people can start to kind of run away feeling, oh, this is more uncomfortable than it was before, but I implore you to can persist with the change, persist with the new habits that you want, because in the, certainly in the short to medium and not therefore long term, it'll be get, taking you to where you want to go. It's so often the case that post the change, we do have these stress moments and our body has that residual feeling and as it goes, it can hurt more. Notice that, be aware of it. Respect this as part of the process that you're going through. The acknowledgement and awareness of it will be a great way to assist you through this. So in that way, be a little bit lighter on yourselves, a little bit easier. Accept that this is the change you want to see happen. That this is part of the process. Going back to one of the previous videos about how we can redefine some of those pain points as we make the change as being actually our uh, reaffirmation that we're doing what we want. So become aware of that. Become aware when you're talking with someone who's going through a change that maybe they're finding it a bit challenging those first early stages, days or weeks or whatever it may be, and recognize for them that this is a part of the process as we change from who we were to who we want to be. So little bite-sized observation, which can be super important, particularly as we're coming into the new year and new resolutions and how things change and how that can feel after a few days. Remember this video use it for friends or family or someone in your community as they're going through a process. Be patient, know there can be some resistance, but the goal is the change that they were originally after. 
and they're well on their way. So bite size, as I say, a great little observation, something I'm constantly aware of when I'm working out in conversations, and I hope you get some benefit from that. And as ever, if you have enjoyed today's video, please subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future video. Other than that, I hope you're doing super well wherever you are, and I'll catch you next time. Legends are made